Good morning, folks. We're starting today with the release from Hubble. They've zoomed in on a galaxy far, far away, one in a densely packed cluster. And it's moving at such a rate that gas is stripped away from the galaxy as it travels flat side forward like a disk through the universe. Something else interesting. This is loosely related to an upcoming project of ours later this year. Just know that electricity can do amazing things inside your body. Top article recommendation today. Buoy in event mode. But it's not near India or Indonesia or Vanuatu or Kamchatka. This is just north of Puerto Rico and is of subsurface cause. Those are way too big to be waves. Coming down under where this one convergence will actually be the game maker today, dropping rain, hooking back up even as it extends and connects to the system still lingering in the north. Europe's wind warnings played out. Isolated damage but not over broader areas. The pressure cell has split with the northern Atlantic portion still very strong. You can see this on the wind power heading at the northern islands there. Got a couple lows here. Top watch is out west where the humidity from ground all the way up through the clouds suggests the winter mix will continue in the north again today. Quickly, we use world of weather to show the expected thunderstorm zones in the rest of the world. Now moving on to the sun and space weather. After two weeks without a gamma ray burst, we took our third in four days yesterday afternoon. Sunspots down south are still worth watching along with the northern incomers. I still spy magnetic mixing at the back portion there, a strong delta candidate. Meanwhile, the mixing is present up north as well if those umbras decide to grow. Otherwise, my attention turns towards the incoming limb. Our magnetic connection to the sun is equatorial and on the western hemisphere of the disk. The lone eruption on the Earth-facing disk the last day was a filament that released on the northeastern quadrant, showing you why we monitor those filaments as much as the sunspots. This one's not coming at Earth. Three days of solar wind telemetry show falling density in orange, rising speed in plasma temperature in yellow and green. This is fairly normal variation or an uber weak stream, therefore the KP is quiet. Low energy protons are going a bit nuts, but those are not nearly as significant as the high energy protons, which are calm. It's quite clear that today brings us the major coronal opening. The middle gap is partially blocked and of minor power only. The southern portion is quite strong though. We took a 6.3 earthquake in Vanuatu this morning after yesterday's quiet. Also had a much rarer 5.0 off the California coastline. And of course another day Chile is rumbling. For those getting into our planned mobile observatory project, preliminary updates are posted in two new fly on the wall sessions. We'll post another one today and the more detailed public announcement will come soon. You can see large dark coronal holes, the thin dark plasma filaments, and the bright white umbras of the active regions. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.